Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Fabulous Friday, where you never know what you might get. By the time you're watching this, I will have been at a scrapbooking retreat for two days. I started on Thursday at noon and I don't finish until Sunday at noon. What I thought I would do is share with you all the things that I'm going to take with me and then I will give you a report at the end to let you know whether I used it all or not. So I'm going to switch my camera around and show you. Um, I will tell you that I am standing in my dining room because I'm using my dining room as a staging area to get this all organized. I needed a lot more room than my craft room would allow. So let me flip the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I have turned my camera around and you can see all of the stuff on this table that is going to need to go with me. I will tell you that that in the middle, that's my centerpiece, that's not going with me. That's just ready for my uh, Easter dinner. And you can see my table runner. I'm going to show off my table runner. Uh, I wove that. I have a 36 inch floor loom, four harness loom, and um, I do weaving. So there. All right, let's get going here. So I have a list and this says packing list for a crop retreat. I made this up from all of the videos that I have watched. I watched Gail Augustinelli. I've watched, oh my glory, I can't tell you how many. There are so many cropping, packing for a crop retreat videos out there. And I watched a bunch of them. And then I made a list and I'm going to put this up for free on my coffee shop, coffee shop. I'm going to end up, one of these days, I'll figure out how to say that word. Um, in any case, I'm going to put this up for free so that you can see what it all is. So I'm going to show you what's on my table. Then I'm going to pack it, and I'll show you the packing when I'm done. So starting over here, let's go all the way over here. I have, yes, that is an ironing board, but I use it as a shelf. It's an extra old ironing board that we don't use. It's a poor little portable one, so I have that for a shelf. I have a couple of other shelves. You see I have two of them there. Um, so those are going to go with me. I have my brand new scoreboard that I'm very excited about. That opens up to a 12 inch. It is, uh, we are memory keepers. We are, what is it? I don't know. It's one of those. And then I have my cutter as well. This is also a cutter, but I'm really not very familiar with it. So I'm going to bring both because uh, I'm driving. If I were flying, I would only bring one, but I, I have both. I have a basket over there with Kleenex in it. Uh, and yes, they are actually Kleenex. I don't know if I'm going to need the basket. At this point, it's sitting there as a uh, maybe. This is a footrest. It actually just flips over. It's an old Rubbermaid footrest, but I've got it this way on my table. Um, I have a lamp. I have two extension cords. And my husband got me a really heavy-duty extension cord as well, but I don't know that I'm going to need it. That may end up staying in the car. So I have my lamp. I have my paper towel. I have my little thingamabob that twirls around and in which are my glues and my corner rounders and my Fabri-Tac. What else is in here? Uh, more corner rounders, my circle punches. Um, I have some, just, the, you know, the uh, my templates and more glues and scotch tape. So that's all sitting in that little bin. Coming, I'm going to get to these in a minute. Over here are my... Um, ink pads and my daubers, my idea book, a little portable fan because it was suggested to bring one because you never know what the temperature might be in the room and it might be really, really hot, in which case you want a little fan. So I brought and it's a battery operated, so it should be, you know, easy to take care of and not another cord. I don't want too many cords. It's already, I already have that cord. That'll be plenty. Um, I am bringing all of these. These are my I've got some green labels here. These are my numbers, and these are brown labels. So I've got all of those. Okay, in here. This is, I'm going to turn this way so that you can see the whole thing. I have a couple plastic bags. These are for taping on the side of the, the uh, table. 
and then putting waste into. I have my ephemera holder, which I have preset now so that it has in it all of the ephemera that I might need for the projects that I'm bringing. And I, that's what those are, and I'm going to talk about those in a minute. I have my crocodile. Um, I have tissue paper, both big sheets of tissue paper and small sheets, you know, just little scraps of tissue paper. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have lined paper, scraps of lined paper. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I can always put it back in. Um, I have an extra little craft mat. I also have my, my big craft mat. I'll be bringing my big craft mat and my uh, 18 inch ruler. That's also over there. But uh, let's see what else is in here. I have, so that craft mat is more for cutting if I have to cut. Okay, this one, I'm switching hands here, sorry. This one is uh, a book cover that I am currently at the, I have a dryer sheet in it because it has just a little bit of a, it was in a basement for a while. And so I'm just, I may use it, I may not, we'll see. My glue book, uh, stamping off pages, tracing paper. And let me tell you why I'm bringing an entire pack of tracing paper. So I saw this on Gail Agostinelli at one point. She was looking for a focal point of something or maybe a, a background piece. Anyway, she pulled out this piece of tissue paper that had stamping all over it. She had just come from a retreat where somebody had a couple of stamps that she really liked. And so she took a piece of tracing paper and she stamped their stamps on her tracing paper. And then they did the same. They had a couple pieces of tracing paper and they did the same thing with her stamp. So they got to change. They didn't, she didn't swap the stamp. She just swapped the impressions. And I thought that was a really cool idea. So I'm bringing an entire pad of tracing paper so that I can, if anybody else has stamps that I like, I might ask to borrow uh, the stamp and make some impressions on the tracing paper that I can use later on. And I'm bringing more of a lot of it, I'm bringing the whole pack, because that way if they need something and they don't have any tracing paper, I can give them a piece of tracing paper and they can stamp to their heart's content. So speaking of stamps, I have all the stamps that I might use in here. I also have a couple of sticker thingies that I might choose to use. They're all kind of hiding in there. My uh, stamp blocks are right down there. And then I have two mugs because I tend to keep things in mugs. So here I have my craft knife and I have my pliers and I have my hole punch. And in this one, I have the, my normal scissors that I use ah, all the time and some pens and pencils, my good fabric scissors, which I will take out when I get there and put away so they don't get mixed up. Okay, so that's in there. And then next to it, I have my bin. This has drawers in it. And in each of the drawers, these are stamp pads. So I have all my stamp pads, the other, my big stamp pads, as opposed to my little stamp pads. Okay, so let me move this for a minute. I'm sorry if it gets a little wonky because I want to show you what's in the box underneath. Okay, so here's the box. This was one of the craft boxes. I did one of those. I'd seen a bunch of videos and I thought, what the heck? I went to Michael's and I bought one of their $10 mystery boxes. Well, I, I could see this through the window and so this had three of these in there three of these boxes they're theoretically mailboxes but i don't really care about the top missing a thing it's okay so there's some chindi cloth in the colors i picked some out for the pieces that i might use uh in here i also have uh my those are my corners for the books this is for uh part of it's just the clamps for uh, sewing together a signature. And then my laces. I have a bunch of laces here in this bag. Uh, that one is a loose lace. Loose lace, try saying that 10 times fast. I have more laces. And more laces that I'm going to be bringing. 
Um, and I'm not going to pull all this stuff out. I have some, uh, I have the, sorry, I'm not even uh, showing you. I've got embroidery floss for binding the uh, signatures together. I have a whole bunch of washi in here. Again, all chosen for the colors that I am using or going to need. Um, I will put all of these things back in here in a little bit. And let me bring you over to the piece de resistance, so to speak. So in this pile, I have, this is an entire bag of book pages and book scraps and whatnot that I can use. And then I have, let me start with the bottom one, these. And I'm not going to open them up because, oh my glory, I'll make a mess. So... I am bringing with me four projects, four separate journals to put together while I'm there. This is one that has a book theme, and I have already chosen a couple of pages to go in it. The signatures are in there. They're, they're not bound. There's no pockets. There's nothing. There's just the pages. So this is a complete kit of stuff to be put together while I'm there. So that's one. This is two. This one is in the colors. I kind of, you can sort of see it here. It's like a blue and pink. That's a single signature. The book one is a two signature. This one is green and pink. And this one you have seen, let me see if I can pull it out. I don't know if I can get to it. There it is. You saw when I made this particular uh, Friday fold. It folds out like that. And that's going to go into the signature. I have a couple of other pieces that I've already made. Those are all going into this particular journal so that's a third journal and then this is a f nope that's not it this is the fourth journal this one is also a single signature it is mostly blues and yellows and i've put some things in there that will be useful as well this particular bag is all the stuff after i packed all of those um, signatures and all those four, I kept finding other things and thinking, oh, I might want to put some envelopes in there, or maybe I'll want some of that paper, or maybe I'll want some of this paper, or maybe I'll want some music paper. Um, and so, <laughs> yeah, I kind of, this is my extras, I'll use it if I need it kind of papers. So that's everything I'm planning to bring. Oh, no, one more thing. Um, I have one more thing over here that I didn't show you. And these are my tins. They're upside down. Um, you know that I use all these Altoid tins. Most of these are not labeled because they're just extra things. So like this one, hang on, see if I can get it open. I can't do it one-handed. Nope, sorry, can't open it up to show you what's inside of it. Oh, wait, 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 there it goes. So like this one has extra little ephemera pieces in it. And one of them has safety pins, and another one has, uh, well, just all sorts of things. So these are just some extra things that I'm going to take with me. And then the the boxes and the the even these two bins, I will use for sorting things. So like the the done pieces versus the ones that still are in process, that sort of thing. Um, so that's all what that will be. All right, I'm going to stop the video for a minute. I'm going to pack all of this up and I'm going to show you what it looks like all packed up. Be back in a minute. Well, I have done it. I have gotten everything into these bags. I have a my craft mat and my ironing board. In here, I have put my scoreboard, my ruler, and oh my idea book i forgot to show you to tell you that i was bringing my idea book a whole bunch of stuff and then these are all of the projects so those are all the kits they're all in this bag 
in this bag is this piece and I ended up tipping those over I'll probably have to fix those and then the big I don't know if you can see it the big green thing is down there and then this and down underneath the footrest are my ex uh, extension cords in this one we have managed to get the white boxes underneath and then here are all my stamps and then the extra shelving units and my lamp and then in this one which by the way i want to show you the front of this okay i want to show you the front of this one uh it says home is where your cat is there we go home is where your cat is and that has in it that this and then those are some things those are some stamps that i'm giving away so i managed to get it all into this we'll see and then i have i do have and i'm going to come slowly around here by the way there's my table all finished i did not pack that uh bin because i don't think i'm going to take it with me but i'm coming around to show you this thing which is a portable, I don't know, you open it as a portable wagon, basically. And we just got it. So, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. I haven't tried to use it yet. Um, I have opened it and closed it. I can do it by myself, which is a good thing. Although it's tough to get it closed again. It's real easy to get it open. Um, but I'll use that to cart everything back and forth. And just so you know, these are some things that I got out of that Michael's box that I'm giving back to Goodwill. Um, they are things I won't be using. All right, so this is it for the crop, and we'll see what happens. I will let you know how things went next week. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.